Thank you. Thank you, Father. Yes. Now we get back to Paul. Paul shook this snake. Mm. Uh-huh. And he shook him into the fire. Yes. Yes. But the question we gotta ask ourselves this morning. Are we living close enough to the fire? Now you can't shake it off in the fire right. if you're not living all right, all right. close to the fire. Yeah. I remember as a child growing up uh, in revival meetings, they would take all the little children and bring them down front because they said they want you to be close to the fire. Yes. To the fire. I, I don't know whether that really made a difference or not, but, but the old folk believed in that. They believed that if you got close enough, uh, that the word of God would shake you. Yes, 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 thank you. Yes, sir. And I, 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 I want it always to be fire in this church. Amen. Yes. I want it to be fire in my home. And I, I want you to understand that I, I want to always live where God can get in touch with me. Amen. Yes. It should have killed me. Yes. But I shook it off. Thank you, O Lord. It should have killed me, but I, I got close to the fire, and, and the fire delivered me. Huh? And then, you know, I, I just got to tell y'all something here that notice Paul never killed the snake. Yes, right. yes, yes. He let the fire All right. do the killing. All right. All right. So sometimes we get to a point where we try to destroy our enemies. Ah. We just need to get rid of them. Let them be separated from us, but let God do the killing. Come on, somebody. Yes. So the Bible tells us in other words that they put Paul on this ship and Paul said it's not safe to journey. Mm -hmm. But instead of them listening to what Paul had to say, the Bible said they got on the ship anyway. Paul was a prisoner. Yes, yes. And the Bible said when they got on the ship they went into the midst of a storm. Yeah. Somebody in here today, you might be going into a storm, or you might be just coming out of a storm, or, or whatever, you might be in the midst of whatever right now in a storm, but I want to tell you that the same God that will bring you out is also in the storm. The Bible says that the storm came up, and I can imagine in my mind, uh, that the storm began uh, to rock the whole ship. And they thought the only way uh, to save themselves uh, was to throw some of the load off the ship. And I stopped by to tell you, uh, church of new beginning, that uh, every once in a while, uh, there are some things in our lives uh, that we need to uh, throw out of our lives. Uh, can I get a witness here? But I hear Paul saying, uh, well, if you want to live, you got to stay in the ship. And I want to tell somebody today that if you want to live, you got to stay in Jesus. Well, the ship was tossed around and about, and the ship began to break apart. But Paul said, you got to stay with the ship. But after a while, after the storm had really wrecked the ship, all they had was a few boards to hold on to. And I want to tell you, in the midst of your trouble, in the midst of your storm, hold on to God's unchanging hands. But what I find that when I hold on to God's unchanging hands, I have peace like no other peace. But Paul said, hang on in there. The Lord, y'all don't know who the Lord is, don't you? He will make a way out of no way. 
some wood, uh, and when he hooked up the wood, uh, to blow the wood on the fire, uh, a snake grabbed him uh, and bit him on the hand, uh, and the people were standing there uh, watching him uh, and waiting on him to fall dead, uh, but the viper uh, was not able uh, to hold on to Paul, uh, and I want to tell y'all uh, that a child of God, uh, the devil can't hold why can't he hold on to you, Sabbath? Because Jesus said that who I got in my hands can't nobody look him out of my hands. So Paul shook it off. And I want to tell somebody, you need to shake off whatever the problem is. If it's sickness, you need to shake it off. If it's poverty, you need to shake it off.